<laughs> it's a, no, it was a ten thousand pound low budget movie, and we had so little money that we didn't even have sync sound like Ari SR twos or anything like that on sixteen mil. We actually had a Bolex. Uh, well, I had a couple of Bolexes that were actually clockwork cameras that you wound up and then you you press the button and you could only press it for about twenty five seconds. If it went to thirty seconds, it would eat the film because it started to slow yeah. down at the end. So then it would eat the film and then you'd have to unload it. You've lost the take and everything else. No sound. So it was all just post sound. So we thought, what can we do? Well, we can't have. 10, 15 minute dialogue scenes, like, you know, quoting Lawrence of Arabia or something. So what we did was make a sort of an action adventure thriller. And like, you know, like El Mariachi, think as long as we keep the dialogue minimal and the action maximum, difference is, is, you know, El Mariachi is naturally gonna, the, the critics obviously liked it a lot because it had subtitles. No, which immediately it's also, makes your movie more intelligent though yeah but Reckless Day probably it's own, its own ambition by its nature it's just it's yeah it was too over ambitious we, we had £10,000 to do a sort of a film that you know we could quite happily have had two or three million and it might have you know been a bit okay. more uh, but you know the point is it got picked up and I didn't know what to do you know I'd made this movie on 16 mil and I'd edited it this was sort of just at the time when Avid wasn't affordable, so I'd done VHS to VHS to VHS editing, you know, got an offline, handwritten the, 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 the time codes, mark in, mark out, for about three and a half thousand edits or something, wasn't it? Um, but uh, I just didn't know what to do, so I sent one out to Jerry Brockheimer, I sent one out here, and, you know, and a lot of them came back, we don't look at unsolicited material. And then I sent them off to a few sales agents, and, everything, and then working in a bar, uh, Vic Bateman from now AV Pictures, then Victor Films, he phoned up and said, oh, you know, I reckon we can sell a few territories, blah, blah, blah. And now, who wrote that? Did you? You wrote you that. Wrote it, you wrote I wrote it. Okay. it. It was like it's coming out of universe. Okay. I wanted to do an action movie. Yeah. Oh, it was pretty, it's a fairly no simple money. story. I mean,